Hey guys, Sean here and welcome to the F1 Word and to the big breaking news this morning just coming out of Williams and that is they have finally confirmed their 2018 driver lineup. To be fair, the lineup is pretty much what we're expecting and what has been reported over the last few weeks and that is that Lance Stroll will be partnered in 2018 by Sergei Sorokin. I'll come to my initial reactions on it in just a moment, but here are some quotes from the press release. Claire Williams said, After an extensive driver evaluation process, I am thrilled to have our 2018 lineup finalised and I'm excited to see what next season brings. We have taken our time to evaluate all the available options and I'm confident Lance and Sergey can deliver the best results for the team. The Williams philosophy has always been to promote and develop young talent and Sergey fits right into that ethos. We have a talented driver lineup for 2018 that we are confident will deliver some exciting results for the team. Sorotkin himself said, To say I'm happy and proud to join such a famous team like Williams is an understatement. It took a huge amount of work to get where I am and I'm really happy and thankful to everyone involved. The result of our combined efforts has helped me achieve my dream and rest assured the team can rely on me to deliver my best. And finally, Paddy Lowe added, We have conducted a rigorous and exhaustive driver evaluation process. Ultimately, Sergei impressed the team with his driving pace and talent, technical feedback and work ethic, both at the factory and trackside in Abu Dhabi. I'm delighted he'll be joining the team to partner Lance next season. So it is two pay drivers for Williams in 2018, as we kind of expected based on reports over the last few weeks. I think firstly, as a reaction, I need to say Sergei Sorokin is not a bad driver. He's a good driver. He's not been sensational in lower formula, but he has been good. He's still young, he has time to develop, and that's important. The problem for me is he should be developing in Formula 2 or as a reserve driver. He should not be coming in with a bit of money, slapping it on the table and saying, I'll take that drive, thank you very much. I'm sure some of you have seen my rant on pay drivers and you know how much it really gets my back up. Yes, okay, pay drivers are a part of Formula 1. It makes perfect business sense. But we want to see the best drivers, not the best backed drivers. And once again, before the comments start filling up, Sergei Sorotkin is not a bad driver. He was good last year. I didn't look at Sergei Sorotkin and say that kid should be in Formula One. There is talent out there, George Russell, Oliver Rowland, who absolutely should be in that car. Not to mention Pascal Wehrlein, and you could even argue for Robert Kubica. A lot of people wanted him to get that seat. I can understand why Williams haven't in some respects. There are risks there with Robert Kubica, but he would have bought money as well. I just find it massively frustrating that a team that Sergei Sorotkin has already talked about has been steeped in history and one of the great names of Formula One has resorted to two pay drivers. Again, business sense. Yes, it all makes perfect sense. And money on the table is always preferable to potential money on the table, but I'm still confident that had they taken Verline or Kubica, they'd score a damn sight more points next season and probably, therefore, or no, almost guaranteed, more prize money. Okay, Williams are saying he's impressed them, he was quickest in testing and they're happy with the choice. At the end of the day, it is their decision. There have been some damn sight worse drivers in Formula 1 than Sergei Sorokin, a couple of which are already on the grid for 2018. Ultimately, though, as I'm sure we all are, I am just relieved that this announcement has finally come because it's been hanging over Formula One and Williams for so long. I have to say this, and I genuinely mean this. I really, really hope that 12 months from now, I am eating my words and that Sergei Sorotkin proves us all wrong. He's a young driver. I want young talent in Formula One. I want to see them succeed. So if in 12 months time, he can prove all his doubt was wrong, I'll eat my words and I'll do an apology video. There you go. I'll say that right now. But as I've already said in this video, it's just really frustrating to see a great team like Williams having to go down the route of the likes of Sauber and, of course, Manor and Co. in the past. But I'm going to leave it there before I get any more ranty than I already have in what was supposed to be a news video and not a bit of a moan. But that is it. We finally have the Williams driver announcement for 2018. What do you think? Are you happy with the appointment and who would you have rather seen in that seat? Let me know in the comments down below. I will be back very, very soon. In fact, sooner than you could probably imagine tonight with my Enarm Ahmed interview. Make sure you come along for that one, guys. But in the meantime, don't forget to follow me on social media. Links to Facebook, Twitter and Discord are all in the description down below. But as ever, thank you for watching. I've been Sean. This has been the F1 Word. And until next time, goodbye.